Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the strings in Java. So first of all, what are strings? Strings are a sequence of characters. For example, let's say my name, you know, which is a string. Let's say Anil in a string. And then uh, let's say Anjali, you know, which is also a string. And uh, let's say um, what is happening, guys? You know this is also a string you know which is a sequence of characters so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to create variables that are going to contain these kind of values and also how to use these strings in our programs so let's get started so in the previous tutorials you know we have learned about the primitive data types available in java for example you know we have learned about the integers you know the byte short int long and then the floating point type uh, numbers you know the float and the double and then the characters you know only a single character and then the boolean types so they are called the primitive types but these strings are not the primitive types in java they are called reference types you know we're gonna learn about all these things in the upcoming tutorials so don't worry and the next thing is you know in java strings are the objects so this string is a predefined class in the java library for example you know just like the system class and the scanner class you know this string is also a class which is predefined which is available to us from the java library okay enough talking and now we're gonna create the variables you know which are gonna store the string values so to create a variable you know rather an object you know which can contain a string value we need to write the class name first you know which is gonna be string and then the name of the object let's say in this program i want to store my name so let's call it as name and then equal to and then we need to specify the value so in double quotes you know in java when you refer to the strings you need to write that in double quotes and i'm just gonna write anil so this anil is my name which is a string and that will be stored in this name object so the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know how to print out the value stored in an object so here i'm going to use system dot out dot print line and you know we just need to refer the name here so it's going to be name you know the object name that's it if i save this and run it you can see here the magic happens and we get anil so let's change this one to anjali and i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna run it you guys can see we get anjali so this is about creating an object you know which can store the string value in it the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is about string concatenation so we can concatenate two strings you know which is nothing but you know joining two strings so in java to join the strings you can use the plus operator but when you use a plus operator to join the strings you should have at least one operand which is of string type for example let's say i want to add anjali 24 so at that time what i can do is i can use the plus operator and then i can uh, write 24 so i'm just gonna save this and if i run this program you guys can see i get anjali 24 and similarly you know i can uh, do that here while defining this let's say anjali 25 you know any number you guys can see anjali 25 so this works you know when we use the plus operator to concatenate the strings and at that time we should have one type which should be of string type let's say we have uh, 55 and 25 so at that time this is not gonna happen so this is gonna perform the addition operation between 55 and 25 so whenever you use this plus operator to concatenate the strings you need to have one type as strings the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know you can also use the plus equal to to concatenate the string so here let's say we want to add anil to this uh, string anjali and we want to store that in this name object so what we can do is we can use the plus equal to so it's gonna be name plus equal to and just gonna write the string that we want to append so i'm just gonna write anil 
and add the semicolon if I save this and run this program you guys can see we get Anjali Anil so it just concatenates the strings all right the next thing is you know as I told you before you know this uh, name is an object of this string class that means we can uh, use a bunch of methods which is available from this string class so here for example you know if you want to convert your uh, string to uppercase then you can uh, uh, use a method called to uppercase and you know we're just gonna save the return value from this uh, method in our name object so I'm just gonna run it again and you guys can see Anjali Anil you know which is in the capital letters so similarly you know a lot of other methods available for example you know you guys can concatenate here by using the concatenate method and let's say I want to concatenate uh, Shetty you know which is gonna be Anjali Anil Shetty and we're gonna save that in our name object so if I run this you can get Anjali Anil Shetty so so this is about something basic on the strings you know there's a lot to learn about the strings in java and hopefully we're gonna learn that in the upcoming tutorials so this is enough for you know the basics purpose so now i believe that you know you guys can uh, create an object which can store a string and also you know i believe you guys have learned how to concatenate the strings so this is it guys in the next tutorial you're gonna be learning something more and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial